Today's question is, what did Jesus mean when he said to not cast your pearls before swine in Matthew chapter 7, verse 6? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Do not cast your pearls before swine is a portion of the Sermon on the Mount, and to understand its meaning, we have to understand its context and placement within the sermon. Christ had just finished instructing the crowd on judgment and reproof. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 and 2. And you hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Matthew chapter 7, verse 5. Then in verse 6, Christ tempers these admonitions and shows us the difference between judgment and discernment. We are not to be hypocritical judges, yet we must be able to discern the swine, lest we cast our pearls before them. Before Jesus says, do not cast your pearls before swine, he says, do not give dogs what is sacred. An analogy mentioning dogs is also used in Proverbs. As a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 11. A dual reference to swine and dogs is also found in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 22. Of false teachers, the Proverbs are true. A dog returns to its vomit, and a sow that is washed goes back to her wallowing in the mud. In his sermon, Jesus uses dogs and pigs as representative of those who would ridicule, reject, and blaspheme the gospel once it is presented to them. We are not to expose the gospel of Jesus Christ to those who have no other purpose than to trample it and return to their own evil ways. Repeatedly sharing the gospel with someone who continually scoffs and ridicules Christ is like casting pearls before swine. We can identify such people through discernment, which is given in some measure to all Christians. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 15 and 16. The command not to cast your pearls before swine does not mean we refrain from preaching the gospel. Jesus himself ate with and taught sinners and tax collectors. Matthew chapter 9, verse 10. In essence, the instruction in Matthew chapter 7, verse 6 is the same that Jesus gave to his disciples when he said, If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake the dust off your feet when you leave that home or town. Matthew chapter 10, verse 14. We are to share the gospel, but when it becomes apparent that the gospel is not welcome, we are to move on. We are responsible to share the good news. We are not responsible for people's response to the good news. Pigs don't appreciate pearls, and some people don't appreciate what Christ has done for them. Our job is not to force conversations or cram the gospel down people's throats. There's no sense in preaching the value of pearls to swine. Jesus' instruction to his apostles on how to handle rejection was to simply go elsewhere. There are other people who need to hear the gospel, and they are ready to hear it. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content, and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch, or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions, the Bible has answers, and we'll help you find them.